In this video, I'm going to cover how to use the ceiling function in Google Sheets. So the ceiling function is a rounding function. What it does is it lets you round a number up to the nearest specified integer multiple. So the syntax of this function is ceiling and then it has two arguments, value and factor. So value is the number that you want to round and it will be rounded up to the nearest integer multiple of the factor that you specify, which is the second argument. So factor is the number that the value will be rounded up to the nearest multiple of. So this argument is optional. By default, it's gonna be set to one. So just to show you how to use this, I will, um, use these formulas and we can watch how it changes what we round to. So the first one, ceiling, then I put in my value and I'm gonna round it to multiples of 0.1, one decimal place. So you can see my second argument here is 0.1 and so it rounds it to one decimal place. So I'm going to copy this formula and I'll change this to one so we can see how it rounds it. You can see it now it's rounding it to multiples of one. So it goes up to 21 from 20 and a half. If I go 10, it's going to round it to multiples of 10. So it's going to go up to 60 from 51. And then lastly, 100. So it's going to go up to 200 because we're rounding two multiples of 100. So most often this function is used to round decimal places, either like 0.01 or 0.1. That's how most people use it. Um, there are a couple other things that you may need to know with these arguments. So one is that if the value is positive, the factor also has to be positive. However, if the value is negative, the factor can be positive or negative. Um, and that's pretty much it for this function. It's, it's a pretty useful rounding function. I know I've covered more of them in a previous post. You can always check that out if you want to learn more rounding functions. But that's pretty much it for this video. Just let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.